Hey everybody, it's Jason. I'm here live at the auction and I can't wait to start seeing some thumbs up that you can hear me and you're watching. Um, again, I'm live here at the auction in Tennessee and can't wait to uh, wait to start seeing there's seven people watching right now. I'm going to wait for a few bit more to get on here before I start telling you about the uh, situations that I'm seeing inside the auction tonight. And I know it might start sounding a little bit like a broken record, like Oh, we're at the auction. There's horrible horses here tonight. There's eye injuries. There's leg injuries. It's just, it's just simply the reality. Let me uh, turn around here so you can see. This is uh, this is the auction yard from the uh, cab of my truck. And there's people coming, people going. And there's, I would say, at least 70 horses here tonight. And probably closer to 80, maybe even 85. And we're going to get as many as we can. And we can only do that with your support because we don't get government grants. We don't have a large funds or trusts that just automatically send us, you know, we're going to send you a hundred thousand a month to rescue horses. No, it's all about people sending five, 10, 20, $50. I think last year our average donation was 50, less than $50 and that is that is that is just touches my heart that people are willing to donate to help rescue horses. So I've walked around. I've met the horses. There's a paint horse here. Um, Jenna, our licensed vet tech, thinks that the horse was here before. Somebody else here says no, it hasn't been here before. Anyway, it doesn't matter for sure. But it's a a paint horse. It has a horrible eye tumor and it needs some help, like really bad. And uh, Dawn's, Dawn's one of our staff members. She says, bring them all. Well, <clears throat> I'd love to rescue 85 horses. I haven't seen, you know, that much uh, donations come in. I would, I would love it if we could rescue all 85. Um, but so there's, there's the paint horse with the eye problems. There's uh, one horse. The guy's like, please buy my horse tonight because it's my daughter's horse and she's going to school and we can't keep it anymore. And I'm, I'm thinking, you know, you, there's times you have to just, uh, you just can't say what's on your mind. I'm thinking, why didn't you just bring it to our shelter instead of bring it here? Because that would have saved the horse the stress and the trauma of coming to the auction yard at all. But, um, yeah, one day we're going to come here. We're going to rescue every horse there is. But I, it could happen. I mean, the right person watches, the right person donates, the right people donate. We could rescue all the horses. That would be at least a couple hundred thousand dollars, but going to do what we can tonight. And it's all because of donations from people just like you. Our goal is at least 20. Going to have to, going to have to see uh, how close we can get to that goal. If we can surpass that goal. Um, again, uh, it's here in uh, middle Tennessee at the auction. There's also a horse that has a horrible back legs. I'm talking swollen to almost the size of basketballs. And then just like, why would you bring that horse to the auction in that condition? Have your vet out. See what the quality of life is. If it's not good, be a decent human being and give your horse the last act of kindness where it knows it's loved. Not dumped at an auction where it's shoved off. You know, if we don't rescue, it's shoved off on a slaughter trailer because... It's, it's bad enough a non-horse person to be able to look at it and say, there's absolutely no way that horse is going to be okay. And that's kind of one of my judges of, uh, you know, good horsemanship. If you take a horse to an auction where a non-horse person can tell that horse is suffering, you have completely failed that horse. And, uh, I mean, horse people can, can see subtle things that, you know, okay, that slips by, you don't notice. If a non-horse person knows an animal is suffering, there's no way you should ever transport that horse anywhere but to a vet um don't ask if there's some big licks i do believe there might be one or two ex big lick uh tennessee walker horses but um don't really know for sure i did a really quick uh, preliminary walkthrough there's also a lot of skinny horses and i asked I, I asked one of the guys that's a regular here i'm like why are there so many skinny horses i'm like there's green grass everywhere he's like i don't know there's people don't feed them and uh Wait, I, I was just out in California a few weeks ago, and the price of hay in California is like 25 bucks a bale. And uh, you never have an excuse for starving your animal. But if your hay costs 25 bucks a bale, it's going to be a lot more financial hardship than Cal uh, Tennessee here, where you can get grass hay for like 8 bucks, 
for uh, bail. So, yeah, there's never an excuse for starving your animal, but especially in the green estate in the country where grass literally grows for free and you can find a way to feed your animals super cheap. So I'm at the auction. I can't stay out here I, all evening. I have to get back in there, have to uh, be ready to uh, start bidding on the horses. I just can't believe how amazing you guys are for donating, helping us save lives. And so I'm gonna hop off here. I'm gonna get back in there. You guys are amazing. There's again, there's about 85 horses. For those that have just joined us, there's over 300 people watching now. There's about 85 horses here at the auction in Middle Tennessee. And it's going to be going on here in just a few minutes. The horses are going to be starting. And we're going to save as many as we can. Our goal is 20. We, uh, we need all the help we can. Please hit that donate button. There's all kinds of ways to donate in the uh, donation. Uh, in, the, in the description of this video, there's all kinds of ways to donate. And um, so I'm going to try to get back on or uh, maybe somebody else on our team is going to be getting back on our new horse trainer is actually here this evening and she's going to be helping with the auction assessment tomorrow the last time uh it was just pretty much keith and i handling the horses and we realized that was a lot of work for two people to uh, help do the assessment on all those horses so we're going to have another horse person tomorrow morning you're going to love watching her work uh, she seems super amazing so yep um just go to our website you can go to our uh, facebook actually donates 100 percent of the proceeds um you can send a check. You can uh, become a supporter. If you really want to uh, see the inside the uh, scoop, because there's some things we can't post publicly, like exactly what horses we may have been able to save before the auction and things like that, because I know for a fact kill buyers monitor our Facebook page and they'll bid up on horses that we post. So what we like to do is uh, put that in our supporter group so that if they're still monitoring, at least they're donating while they're monitoring. So. You know, might as well get a little bit of money from the kill buyers too if they actually want to monitor what we're doing. So, yeah, how many horses do you guys think we're going to rescue tonight? Our goal is 20. We say that almost every uh, every month, but uh, sometimes it's more. Actually, usually it's more. Very rarely is it less. So, auction days can't sleep till I get it. Set my monthly donation. Uh, thank you so much, Karen. Yep. I'm hoping that it's not, you know, an 11, 12 o'clock night. But we're just going to have to see. So thank you all so much for watching. Y'all are amazing. Your horse heroes, everybody that pushes that donate button and helps save a life tonight is definitely a horse hero. So I know you can do it. Appreciate it. All right, Deborah. So in the description of this video, when I'm done here, there'll be a whole bunch of uh, donation options. You can go to our website. You can donate on Facebook, PayPal, Venmo. There's just there's a ton of ways to donate. So Yep, thank you guys so much. Love y'all. Have a great evening. And uh, stay tuned for more updates tonight, too.